let's talk about stress. Okay, so there are those days that I will eat right and I will be diligent about checking my blood sugar and I'll titrate my insulin perfectly and yet somehow my numbers are two times or three times higher than they should be and I've got extra blood sugar running through my veins and it sucks and the common denominator is always stress and it's crazy um, because it's one of those things you can't really um, plan into your day, you know? Basically, stress comes in like two different shapes, like either emotional or physiological. So it can either be emotional, which is like fear, anxiety, anger, excitement, or physiological, which is more like when you have pain or an injury, an illness, or an infection of some sort. Now, this means that basically you get stressed out when you have to speak in front of a large group of people or you twist an ankle or you get the flu or even something as silly as watching a scary movie can stress you out to the point that it doubles your blood sugar numbers. It's crazy, but it's totally true. And how that happens is basically it has to do with the liver. Um... I told you before that your liver absorbs a lot of the blood sugar out of your, um, sorry, out of your veins and, uh, and, and keeps it there for storing and it stores it for times like this. So basically when extra hormones are released, hormones either for growth or for sex or for, um, stress, uh, they trigger your liver to release extra amounts of glucogen and glucose back into your bloodstream for your body to use, for your muscles, for your brain, everything else. And it's really useful because if, you know, you're attacked by a lion, you need extra storage of sugar to go running, you know, away from said lion. So it makes perfect sense. The only thing is I'm not really ever running from a lion and I have no insulin to bring that level back down. So when you get stressed out and you release extra glucose, your body's beta cells automatically go into, you know, the mode in which they give you insulin and bring it back down. But my body doesn't do that. So I desperately try to keep stress to a minimum. Um, but you never know. <laughs> I mean, you never know when that guy's going to cut you off uh, in traffic or all of a sudden something's due at work and you're going to have to speak in front of a large group of people. And so you just kind of run with it and you say, what the fuck? And give yourself a little bit more insulin to knock it back down. But stress is one of those things that it just happens, and unfortunately, it can really screw with your blood sugar numbers. Cheers. <laughs>